Asante sana. Nashukuru. Your Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, President and Commander in Chief of the United Republic of Tanzania's People's Defense Forces, Ministers, senior government officials from Tanzania and Kenya, captains of industry and business executives here present. Let me begin, ladies and gentlemen, by once again taking this opportunity to thank my dear sister Samia Sulu Hassan and indeed her entire delegation for making this historic maiden visit to Kenya. Tunasema asanti sana. As I said, it is historic on many fronts, including it being the very first state visit by a female president of the East African region to a neighboring country. Kwa hivyo, safari hii itaandikwa kwa vitabu ya historia ya Afrika Mashariki. During the last two days, we have had the benefit of fruitful bilateral consultations touching on a wide range of subjects to promote the interests of the people of Tanzania and Kenya. Indeed, all Kenyans are excited and proud, and we have confidence, Madam President, that you will maintain the well-established tradition of promoting the bilateral and multilateral interests not only of the people of the United Republic of Tanzania, but also of the entire East African community. Today, we are together again at this meeting of business leaders from both our countries. And I believe Your Excellency will agree with me that prosperity for our two countries hinges on creating a conducive business environment, boosting economic cooperation, and growing mutually beneficial trade and investment. I believe we have a common desire to promote and support the business community, an objective that is reflected in the theme of this forum promoting trade and tourism and investment between Kenya and Tanzania within the East African Community Customs Union framework. So, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I want to reiterate again that Kenya and Tanzania enjoy cordial relations going back to our pre-independence days and Tanzania continues to be a key partner of Kenya in many areas, from security to agriculture, pharmaceuticals, petroleum, finance, trade of manufactured goods, energy, and general trade. Indeed, our two countries were among the three founding members of the East African community, in the year 2000, following the collapse of the original community in 1977. And we have since continued to work together to ensure that our community remains a strong pillar of our relations. The East African community, through the East African Customs Union and the East African Community Common Market Protocol, has opened our borders and unlocked opportunities for the free movement of goods, services, and investments across the East African borders. This should have paved the way for trade to thrive, 
create new opportunities, and increase trade volumes. This, supported by a vibrant and an entrepreneurial private sector, trade between our countries has thrived, but we must accept that it has yet to reach the levels that we all expected. Total trade was valued at 60.4 billion Kenya shillings in 2012, and Kenya shillings 58 billion in 2020, indicating a slight decline. In the years 2016, 2017, and 18, trade was valued at 47.5 billion, 45.6 billion, and Kenya shillings 47.5 billion, respectful, respectfully. This reflects challenges in the trade regime which, as we have heard from friends in the private sector, we need to urgently address. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, our private sector should by now be looking beyond our borders to seize opportunities accorded by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area which came into effect on the 1st of January this year. And the older but still important East African Community and EU Economic Partnership Agreement. The Africa Continental Free Trade Area Trading Arrangement offers numerous opportunities for the business community and great potential to enhance inter-Africa trade to levels that we have never experienced before. Also important is the East African Community EU Economic Partnership Agreement. The Protocol on Rules of Origin under the EAC EU EPA allows our manufacturers to accumulate materials for the East Africa, the ACP, and the AU for conversion into finished products exported to the EU and other markets. I believe this could broaden the reach of our exporters and attract major investments into our respective countries. In this regard, Your Excellency, as we work collaboratively under these trade re regimes to unlock the potential of our private sector's creativity, I wish to request your government to give effect to these two agreements through their ratification. In response to the conclusions reached by our business leaders, I wish to agree with the proposal that we have heard from your Minister of Trade that they shall meet in the next four weeks and resolve all non-tariff barriers and other restrictions that have adversely affected trade between our two countries. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, we here in Kenya have implemented far-reaching structural and economic policy reforms which have significantly improved Kenya's business environment. I am indeed aware that you too are working in Tanzania to have similar structural and economic policy reforms also aimed to promote economic growth. I believe there is a lot that we can learn from each other by working together and collaborating on these reforms. Kwa hivyo mweshimu wa rais, mimi ningependa kwa kumalizia kusema ya kwamba, naona tukona nafasi, na naamini ya kwamba tukona nia, ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba, tukifanya pamoja, tunaweza kuinua uchumi wa Tanzania na uchumi wa Kenya. Naamini mheshimiwa rais kwa dhati ya kwamba tukiingia kwa kazi hii kwa njia ya kushirikiana ushindi utakuwa wa wananchi 
wa nchi zetu mbili vile tulikuwa tunasema hapo awali Kenya na Tanzania na wananchi wetu wakijiona kama mandugu ambao wanashirikiana badala ya kushindana sisi wote tutashinda hatuna lolote la kushindana sisi yetu ni tushirikiane kwa sababu tukijiona kama inchi ambazo zinashindana hatutaweza kupata wale wawekezaji wakubwa ambao wataweza kuja kuweka viwanda vyao katika inchi zetu na inchi za Afrika Mashariki lakini ile ambacho tutaona ni kazi ambazo zingeenda kwa vijana wetu hizo viwanda vikiwa hapa hazitakuja kwa vijana wetu badala kazi hizo zitakuwa inchi zingine kwa sababu soko yetu itakuwa ndogo na sisi ndiyo tutakuwa tunanunua bidhaa za inchi zingine za nje badala ya tusaidiane tuseme njooni tushirikiane tujenge viwanda vyetu viwe vikubwa ndio badala ya kuwa sisi twatoa mizigo yetu kutoka sitaki kutaja inchi ndio mtu asiseme hii na hii lakini tuseme inchi za nje tuwe tunanunua bidhaa ambazo zimeundwa katika inchi zetu na ndio vijana wetu waweze kupata kazi na ndipo nasema tukishirikiana ushindi ni wa wananchi wa jamhuri zetu mbili ushindi ni wa wananchi wa Afrika Mashariki kwa hivyo vile ulitukumbusha jana wakati tulikuwa katika mkutano wa kirasmi ulitukumbusha ya kwamba taifa la Kenya ndio la tano kuwekeza katika taifa la Tanzania tukiwa na karibu kampuni nafikiri ulisema 500 500 na kitu hapa hivyo na tukasema ya kwamba kampuni za Tanzania pia ambazo zimewekeza hapa nchi Kenya ni karibu 30 sisi tungependa kuona wawekezaji wengi zaidi wa Tanzania wakuje wafanye kazi zao hapa Kenya na nataka niseme leo ya kwamba sisi na hiyo mimi sitagojea mkutano ya waziri nitasema sasa wawekezaji wa Tanzania mjue ya kwamba muko na uhuru wa kuleta na kufanya biashara zenu hapa bila kuitishwa business visa bila kuitishwa work permit mufanye kazi nchini Kenya vile mnayofanya nchini Tanzania haja tu mfuate sheria na kanuni ambazo zimewekwa na zile ambazo wenzenu wa Kenya pia lazima wazifuate lakini karibuni sana na tutajaribu juu chini kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumerahisisha njia zenu zote za kufanya biashara zenu ingine na hiyo pia tulisema pamoja na mheshimiwa rais jana hii mambo ya mawaziri kugojea ati sijui mpaka mkutano uitwe sijui mtu aende avae suti yake sijui akuje aseme sasa tuna ajenda sijui sasa wakae waseme sasa tuende item moja ya pili wacha tuulize wakili badala ya kukaa na wakunywe chai waseme ni nini ambayo tunaweza kufanya kutatua shida za wenzetu jameni 
tuwataka mawaziri jameni mtoke ofisini mutembeleane mutatue shida ambazo wafanyibiashara wetu wanazo ndio msaidie wakulima wetu ndio msaidie wafanyibiashara wetu kwa sababu mkiwasaidia wafanikiwe hiyo ni kazi kwa vijana wetu hiyo ni uchumi wetu utapanda hiyo ni kodi tutaweza tupate tuendelee kujenga mabarabara kuunganisha stima kuweka mahospitali na mambo mengine ya manufaa kwa wananchi wetu lakini mtu asione ofisi akipata anakaa naogopa hataki kuongea na mwenzake ati anagojea kuambiwa kama we unagojea kuambiwa jameni basi hustahili kuwa waziri waziri ni mtu wa initiative anakuja anachukua initiative na kama unataka kukonsole jameni maofisi yetu pia na tumekubaliana na mwenzangu maofisi yetu mlango ni wazi kama uko na swali njoo ulize sio kukalia kitu unakalia kwa nini hey, umepatiwa kazi kubwa kwa sababu tunaamini ya kwamba uko na uwezo wa kuitekeleza itekeleze eh hey. itekeleze kwa niaba ya wananchi wetu mimi sitaki kusema zaidi ya hapo sio siku yangu leo leo ni siku ya mgeni wetu wa heshima lakini mbele ya nimwalike nimesikia vile mumesema ya kwamba baada ya mwezi mmoja mtakutana lakini mimi ningependa ni staje mawili ambaye itatendeka na hiyo nataka itendeke wiki hii na wiki ijayo ya? ya kwanza ni mawaziri ambao wanahusika mwende mutatue ile jam ambaye iko kule Taveta Holili ambaye iko pale na Manga magari iweze kutembea kama ni certificate za covid na nini Jameni mawaziri wa afya wakae wajue vile wanaweza kufanya certificate ikiwa issued Tanzania kama mtu amekuwa checked Tanzania basi hiyo certificate iwe sawa kwa aingie Kenya na vice versa ndio watu wafanye biashara zao Ya pili ni hiyo mahindi ambayo imelala hapo mpakani waziri mimi nakupatia wiki mbili yote iwe imefunguliwa na hiyo maneno ishe kwa sababu hatutaki kuna haja ya kuumiza watu yetu jameni au ni namna gani tumekubaliana wewe ni hivyo sasa kwa hayo machache mimi nasema nina furaha tele na wakenya wana furaha tele kwako wewe mheshimiwa rais kukubali kuja kututembelea na mimi sina shaka ya kwamba awamu yako ya uongozi wa taifa la Tanzania utaona uhusiano wetu kama majirani na kama mandugu ukipanda kwa kiwango kingine ya juu 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 zaidi na nataka ukuahidi kama ndugu yako ya kwamba tutatembea bega kwa bega na tuhakikishe ya kwamba safari hii tumeitimiza na tumeinua maisha ya wananchi wa jamhuri zetu mbili tumeinua uchumi wa nchi zetu mbili tumeinua uchumi wa Afrika Mashariki na tumeanza safari ya kumaliza ufakara na umaskini kati ya wananchi wetu kwa yale ambaye tutayatenda tuta pamoja kwa hayo machache mheshimiwa rais nichukue fursa hii ni kualike kirasmi uongee na hawa wananchi wako wafanye biashara wako kwa sababu wakiwa wa Kenya, wakiwa wa Tanzania wote ni wako. Karibu waongeleshe na uwapatie yale mawaidha ambayo uko naye. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki nyote. Asanteni.
Kwa tukae. Your Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Ministers here present, Permanent and, um, permanent and Principal Secretaries here present, Excellencies Ambassadors and Heads of International Organizations, Business Communities from Kenya and Tanzania, Members of the Press, Distinguished delegates, a good, a very good morning to you all. Na nataka ni wasalimu 